Hey everybody, just a quick message and a quick update. I know we're getting updates every day. We get news every day about the coronavirus and we're learning more and more about closures. And every Sunday that we can't be here and we can't be together kind of leaves a void in us. I don't know about you, but I miss seeing you and I miss being together because we're a faith community. And every Sunday that we can't be together and be in community and be with each other just kind of leaves an emptiness and leaves a void. So I wanted to share some things with you today. Right now, I know we're being asked to practice social distancing. We're being asked to do our part to contribute so that we can kind of flatten the curve on this virus spreading. I want you to know and I want to remind you that canceled services doesn't mean canceled service. We still have an opportunity, even though we're not meeting here at the building and we're not meeting inside these walls, canceled services doesn't mean canceled service. I think this is a great opportunity for the church to be the church. I think this is such a great opportunity for us to reach out. So what I want to encourage you over the next few days and the next several weeks is to remember this phrase, each one reach one. If each one of us would reach out each day to one person, each one reach one. Maybe you reach out to someone in your small group. Maybe you reach out to someone outside your small group. Maybe you pull out a directory and you just call someone, maybe our, some of our elderly folks, and, and call them. Each one, reach one. Ask people, how are you doing? Ask people, can I pray with you over the phone? Can I bring you communion on Sunday? Can I go buy some groceries for you? Is there anything I can do for you? If each one would reach one, Wow, the community that we're still having with one another would be so awesome. So can I challenge you to do that this week? Can I challenge you to do that every day? Each one, reach one. I want to leave you with a scripture that is um, encouraging to me and very encouraging to me right now. It's from Psalm 46. Can I share just a few verses? God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. I hope you find encouragement and comfort from those words.